Well, hello, my algebra students. I hope you're having a good break. Notice we still have two and a half days to go. <laughs> so anyways, this is really kind of just what do you know? So I won't be talking a whole lot. So turn the video off and do these problems, then turn it back on and I'll go over them. Okay, good. I hope you're done. So negative six plus four different signs, bigger absolute values with this. So the answer is negative. And then six minus four is two. You still owe two. Give them the four, you still owe two. Here you have $20, you owe 10. So you pay off the 10, you still have 10. Hoo -hoo. Both minuses, so it's minus six plus four. And minus seven. Oh, you have seven, so you pay off your bill. You got nothing left. Then, zero divided by six. Hey, you can break up six as, uh, zero as many times as you want. It's still zero. Anything divided by zero. Wow, I think that's a poem. If zero's on the bottom, it's undefined. That is true. All the time. Oh, oh, so it'd be undefined. Hmm. And anything divided by zero is undefined. I'm going to abbreviate it because I'm running out of room. And anything divided by itself, except zero, can't divide by zero. But other than zero, anything divided by itself is uno. Okay, do those problems now. Turn me off and... Dizima. Okay, let's see what we got. Minus and minus is plus. So this would be 4 plus 4, which is 8. Plus, uh, minus and minus is plus. Minus 6 plus 3 is minus 3. And uh, a, a negative times a negative is a positive. So that's 18. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's that? No, we have more. Go ahead and see if you can do them. Okay, you must be done. So a positive divided by negative is negative. Six divided by three is dos. And let's see. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. That's five. Five is odd. So the answer is negative because you have five negatives. And then one, 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 and multiply together is one times two is two. Now, when you're dividing, you take the reciprocal of the fraction after the division. So the same as six times two is 12. Hey, that's not too bad. Oh, I got to divide again. So nine fifths. Then uh, you could go straight across 18 over 15. Then is there a number that goes into both? Yep. Three, so we can take three out of both. So that would be six. Oh, it froze. Sorry about that. It froze for a second. That wasn't my fault. I think I scared it with these numbers. Now, you could have reduced it by three and then went straight across. That's okay. Now, these two are the ones most people get wrong. No parentheses. So it's the opposite of two times two is four. And in parentheses, so that means negative 2 times negative 2. Negative times a negative is a positive. 2 times 2 is 4. Then do you remember your words? What's an example of a real number? Yeah, that's any number you've ever seen. So we could say 3. Or we could say 1 half. Or we could say pi. Rational has to be something that can be a fraction, so 1.3, uh, 1 and 3 fourths, um, uh, 1.6 repeating, 6. Then irrational cannot be, so that would be our pi. If you know what a square root is, square root of 2, because you can't simplify it. If you don't know square root, don't bother about it. So just a real short quiz cause, uh, for you to review because this is going to be a short quiz on um, uh, Tuesday. Anyways, have a good day.